Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Grace here, and today Dorlita will walk you through how to use an image to create a fake background for your videos. Make sure you stay until the end to see the finished video, grab your notebook, and let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we are going to create a video using an image for a background. So for those um, who want to make videos but don't feel like they have the most aesthetic background, we're going to do that. We're gonna create a, a fake background that you can use in your videos. So this way it does not stop you from uploading your videos and creating um, engaging videos, whether it be for your YouTube channel, your Instagram or uh, TikTok or whatever social media you are using. So to start, we're going to create a new video and we're using CapCut, by the way. Um, it's one of the best apps that you can use to create these videos um, easy. And uh, I'm using the paid version. Um, you may be able to do this with the uh, free version, but just so you know, this is, I have the paid version of CapCut, all right? So we're going to create a six by nine um, canvas for our video. I'm going to um, exit my full screen so that I can drag in. So I'm, I have already downloaded some images that I want to use. I just went to Unsplash, downloaded these into a folder, and I'm going to use this image here for my background. So we're gonna drag that in and we're going to let that load. Well, it says it can't download my image and it might be too big. So let's see, we're going to go back to those backgrounds and maybe pick another one. Let's see. Oh yeah, that one is really, really large. So, okay, we're going to go with this image. So we're going to use this one and we're going to drag it out maybe, um, we're gonna drag it out for maybe about a minute or so. Cause I think the video that I have is going to be about a minute. And we can shorten it um, for this for this tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and extend it for as much of the time as I can. So we're going to make that a little shorter so we can extend this out to about a minute. All right, so we have this background, and now I want to um, upload my video. So I'm gonna go and find the video that I want to use. So I'm going to use, it's about a minute and 44 seconds. So we're not gonna use the entire video, um, but you would if it was something that you were going to use for um, your video. All right, so we're going to add this video in. And with this video, we want to be able to cut out um, we want to be able to cut out the person and remove this background, right? So we want it to be an overlay. Or you know what? Let me delete that. Let me delete this one or go back. All right, so we are going to add, um, the video that I want as an overlay. So we're gonna go back and find that video and we're gonna add it as an overlay. And it says this was uploaded before cause I did upload this already. So we're going to stretch this to the size of the canvas. Make sure we get that in there. 
Um, and then I'm going to use, and I'm using CapCut in a browser so that I can record this video, but you can also use um, the CapCut on your computer. I have a Mac, so I actually have the application there as well. Um, and they kind of function just a little bit different, but we're going to use this uh, Smart Tools over on the left side to remove the background. And I'm going to choose Auto Removal. So if you look down where the video is, it's removing the background, we're at 1%. So it, it kind of takes just a little minute for it to remove the background. So I'm going to let it load and do its work and I will be, be I will be back. All right, I'm back. So our background has been removed and now <laughs> you can see with my funny face um, that I now have this background for my image. So I'm going to make my self just a little bit bigger so we fit just a little bit better in um in this image or in this video and with the background what i want to do is i kind of want to blur it just a little bit um so that it looks a little just a little bit more natural right so we're going to find our um effects we're going to go over to effects and we're looking for the blur so i'm going to click on blur and i want the opaque blur because i can control that and so i want to move it down between my my video and the image. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna move it down some, and then we're going to stretch this out the entire length of the video. So let me zoom out. So first we need to make sure that the image matches the length of the video, and then we're going to stretch that um, op opaque blur so that it matches as well. All right, so if you like this, you could leave it at this at this point as this sort of blur, or you can edit and kind of um, bring the blur down just a little bit. So I'm going to uh, bring my blur down just a little bit. So I'm going to go up here where it says basic with the star, and then this is where I can adjust what um, my blur looks like. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit um maybe 20 and i'll leave it right there and then we're gonna hit play and see how this goes All right, so now I have a video and I have a totally different background from what the video started with. Um, so you could kind of adjust this. You could adjust the lighting on this. You could do whatever else you would want to do with this. But yeah, that's how you do it. Grab your image. Um, you can also use like Mid Journey or um, Doll E or Leonardo to create whatever kind of background you want. If you can't find the one that you um, one that you like already done in stock image, and then you can go from there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, make sure you leave those in the comments. But like, share, and hit that hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.